Okay, so if you are at this video and you're watching it, um, make sure well you have the, the, the correct thing down first. You should be able to already know ZBrush. You're making meshes. You're making meshes that aren't reliant on subtools. You're making meshes that have good UVs. You know how to make a normal map and you know how to make a color map. Okay? And maybe a little bit of specular. So if you have those down, that's fine. If not, you know, you should just don't get super frustrated over this video. It's not meant to be one of those things that, you know, you can just jump right into. Uh, this is this has taken me some time to learn. It's probably going to take you some time to learn. And it's definitely, um, Blender isn't one of those things that you try to take on head on and not get frustrated because you are going to get frustrated every once in a while. But that's what's fun about it because once you fix a problem within Blender, you could feel like you can go out there and like maybe run the Space Shuttle Columbia into your backyard and then have a barbecue because it's just like one of those things that is just so super complex, but it doesn't need to be that complex. So I'm going to take you a walk through the park right now and kind of show you what I have. So I have a guy. So you can have your ogre, gingerbread dude, whatever you're going to have. If you're a noob, I would concentrate on something small, maybe a fish. M make it so it has a normal map and a color map, and that way it only has one mesh. Mine has, oh, I don't know, even know how many, one, two, three, four, five, at least 12. So there's 12 different items in here, but notice they're not in my subtool menu. And there's a texture running the whole show. This is not poly paint. Okay, the textures kind of look like this. So I have a color map and all the objects are on this color map, all colored out. Okay, so that's running the entire show, one color map. One bump map is running the entire show. And this is going to be my specular map, which will be later on you know, tweaked in some manner in certain spots to make certain things shiny. There's not a whole lot of shiny objects on him though, so I might just leave it black. I just like having that specular out there. You know, maybe his belt buckle, maybe his eyes if I decide to put those in. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is make sure you just know the basics. Let's say exporting as an OBJ with MRG on and save that out and then going into these files so that what that made is a bitmap and an MTL file both useless please delete those okay let's go into the OBJ and open it with some kind of text editing program so you'll want to use like on a Mac it's called text edit on a PC it's called notepad let's look at what's going on here so I have you know all my vertex coordinates going on in here and if I page down you know you might come to a spot where it says something about another material if not that's cool and this looks like a bunch of really really complicated stuff but it's really not it's all the vertexes and where they need to be in the universe some things that are in here that it does not need to be in here is the fact that it's looking for the MTL file so I'm going to destroy that and if you can see that it's right here it's called MTLIB and it's looking for my library file I'm going to delete it also it says default material so actually my default material I'm going to call that wolf here okay the reason you should use a text editing program and not like WordPad or Microsoft Word or any of those is because this is very sensitive to character spacing so if I accidentally hit backspace or enter like I did using a traditional program that would have been bad now what I'm going to do is look for another use material so I'm going to 
control C this and go edit signed. Find control V next. Good. So there's only one material running the show. Being that Blender's kind of stubborn, it's probably going to throw another material out there just for the fun of it, but I'm going to use this. And I'm going to hit save. Now I'll get into Blender and then we'll go into the next video. So we're going to get it to this stage right here. Okay, so I'm going to back up a little bit because I like to maybe uh, experiment, make sure it gets in there fine before I go trying to walk somebody through it. So that's what this is. It's just me trying to make sure that everything worked out right. Okay, X to delete the stupid square. File, import, wave for an OBJ. Going to import the OBJ. Import it. And I'm going to say no image search. And the rest of this, I'm going to hit OK. OK, so there he is. So if you don't know anything about the navigation within Blender, I highly suggest you go back to some of my videos on houseoftutorials.net slash video. And then you can get the rundown on how to navigate within Blender. OK, so next, let's uh, set up the smooth group so he's not so blocky. Hit tab on the keyboard right click on him then hit tab okay that's gonna throw you in edit mode so tab is edit and object mode so make sure if you ever get lost within here you check my buttons you check this button and you check to where I'm at in these if these are grayed out that's where I'm at okay that's a very simple way because there's a lot of places in blender to get lost okay so what I'm gonna do is hit the set smooth button under links and materials that's going to fix that up. Okay, next, I'm going to highlight him and look at his materials. So, under materials, I should have two. I have a wolf, which I named, and a zero material, which is defaulted in. Okay, I guess I'll use the wolf. Now, the wolf has some stuff on it that I do not want. It has a lot of specularity, so I'm going to knock the specularity down quite a bit on it. Okay, that makes it a very flat looking ball. And if I wanted to have the specularity on there, I would definitely have to map that specular map in there. If I did not, it would be glossy, and I don't want that. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to import textures within Blender and assign them to the character.